Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a tutorial and kind of a guide to the Grain Mill Plus by Mac Trucker. This is for all platforms. Um, so yeah, pretty nifty mill um, here that we have. This what this says adds in two new products to the game. It adds in cracked corn and corn mill, which in general how to use this is very simple and basically the same compared to well compared to the uh, regular grain mill in game. But I also wanted to talk about the profitability. Is it actually worth it to do cracked corn and corn meal um, instead of maybe selling your corn just as it was? So we'll talk about that as we go through here and I'll put up a chart at the end to show you that. But this is the building here. If you go into uh, placing it, you just go under production, scroll down to the very end. There it is right there, the grain mill plus. And again, we add two new products here. So normally um, the grain mill will just have wheat, barley, um, oats, um, and sorghum, and you will get flour out of it from there. But this one adds corn in there, which gives you cracked corn and now uh, cornmeal as well, which is pretty neat. Um, this thing costs you, as you can see, 96,000 buy, which is the same price as the regular grain mill, but again, it has those extra crop types added in. And this is the regular grain mill. You can see they look very similar. They're pretty much identical. So um, just something to be aware of, but yeah. Now you could also still play this, even if you didn't know if you wanted to do cornmeal or not, because all the recipes for the wheat, uh, barley, oats and sorghum flour um, is the same as the base game grain mill. So you might as well place this one if you have it installed just because then it gives you another option if you wanted to do that later. But in general, it works like any other production chain. And if you haven't seen any guides to production chains, I will put a card up on the screen to check out one of those guides. I have a guide to how to use the flour mill, which will go into a lot more detail than this one will. Um, this is just going to basically give you an overview of what we got going on here. So essentially with your production building, this right here, this dump trigger, this is where we're gonna put in all your ingredients. So your corn and everything else is gonna go in there. This area right here is your spawn point. This is where all your pallets are gonna spawn. And right here, this wrench is where you can activate the menu here. Now in general, you go through here again, those are all the same. So then we add these two new recipes where we're putting 20 corn in to get 25 cracked corn or 10 corn to get 15 corn. Now, if you don't know how the production menu works in general in here, um, it says inactive. So down here, you'd wanna activate it. So if we wanted to have both of these guys running, we want them both activated. Um, and then in cycles per month, that's 1200 cycles per month that's gonna happen. So if you're running two day months, um, it's going to do 600 cycles a day. If you're running one day months, 1200 cycles a day. Because again, that's divided by um, the days that you have in a month. Because that's how many it's going to do in a month. This is one cycle. So it's going to do this 1200 times in one month. Just like this one's going to do this 1200 times in one month. The production cost per month, that's how much it's going to charge you to run per month. Over here, you can see what your incoming materials are. So how many of these materials you have stored in the facility. And then out here, you have your outcoming or outgoing materials. So there's different modes here. So we can hit change output mode down at the bottom, but these are all set to storing. So if you have it on selling, it'll automatically sell the products, though you are gonna take a hit if you do sell them that way. So you're not gonna make as much money or distributing, which it'll move them further along the production chain to another facility that is gonna require those materials um, for you to use. So for example, flour, if you had that one set to distributing, it would move it to your bakery if you had a bakery set up as well. But these ones we're gonna leave on storing for now. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and put some materials in here. And I do have a mod installed that allows me to buy materials and add them in, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, but that's not generally how this would work. You normally have to put your own materials in unless you have that mod installed. But there we go. So those are both running now. You can see running. They're gonna start producing some different materials for us. Um, and then spawn some pallets out here. But that is in general how it works. And we'll take a look at the pallets here. If I speed up just a little bit of time, we should be able to see. About to get a couple pallets out. And they might have run out of corn, actually. Let's go into their production menu here. We'll add in, they did run some more out. So I wonder how many is in a pallet is one thing I'm curious about as I haven't tested that yet. We'll add in that. We'll just put a bunch of corn in here so we can really run, let it run. There we go. Okay. Now, if we fast forward time a little bit quicker, we should be able to get some pallets out. There we go. We got one pallet of cracked corn. Let's see if we can't get a pallet out of cornmeal. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go into here, and we're going to deactivate these guys just so they don't keep producing more pallets. And I'm going to fast forward us to the day because it's not really fun sitting out here in the dark. Um, so we'll just do that real quick. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so here are what the pallets are going to look like if we're producing these guys right here. This is a cornmeal mix pallet. You can't pick it up. It weighs or has 4,000 liters and weighs 740 kilograms. Cracked corn, also 4,000 liters, but there you go. Those are your pallets, which is pretty cool. Those are actually pretty big pallets. That's a lot of liters in one pallet. So uh, pretty good in terms of that. Now, the one thing we're really curious about, is it actually worth doing the, the Grain Mill Extended Plus? So I'm going to pull a chart up on your screen right now. So there you go. Looking at that, it says the Grain Mill Extended Production Mod at the top. Uses the Steam price sheet for pricing and economic difficulty normal. So the Steam price sheet for pricing is linked down below in the description. I'm only using that to gather the, the uh, corn price for economic difficulty, what you're generally going to get for your corn if you sold it. And then we have a table here. 
which has cornmeal and cracked corn on it. That input is per cycle and that output is per cycle and the profit is also per cycle. So all this here is per cycle. So um, if you're looking at that production menus we looked at earlier, I'm taking a look at the recipes. Um, that's gonna be per cycle, how much you're gonna make and what's the input and output costs are gonna be. So that input cost is calculated by taking um, the corn that you had to put into this and looking at it as if you had sold it. So basically what we're trying to see, is it worth selling the corn or is it worth putting it through this production chain to make some money? So the input for the corn meal is $6.83 worth of corn. The cracked corn is $13.66 worth of corn. Then the output for corn meal is $28 and the output for cracked corn is $49. That's per cycle. So um, then we look at the profit per cycle. Um, the corn meal is gonna make you $21.57 and the cracked corn is make you $35.69 per cycle. So really profitable, actually very, very good. And down there you can see the prices I use, $683 per thousand liters for corn. And then cracked corn is 1974 per thousand liters and corn meal is 1893. And those are just the best sell prices. This will produce 18,000 liters of corn meal per month or 30,000 liters of cracked corn per month or both if you're running both of them. The profit per month, if you're running cracked corn is the best of the best right there, $42,000 per month. So you can make $42,000 a day off of this if you had your uh, production set to one day a uh, month. So there you go. And then profit per corn meal is $25,000 per month. So it's better off to do the cracked corn for sure, but you're definitely making a lot of money off of this mod if you're running it and doing some cracked corn. But there you guys go. Hopefully that gives you a good introduction on how to use this mod and whether or not it is actually profitable and if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at it more. But there you go. That is the Grain Mill Extended Production Mod. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bells so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.